Good morning, church family. Happy Wednesday. I'm going to bring you um, some encouragement from the word today from Psalm 130, verse 5. So it reads, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word, I put my hope. So those words, um, hope and waiting, um, going together, really mean a lot to me in this season. Um, for the last several months, I've been um, praying um, to go on a trip for a visit, and God's been telling me to wait. And then after he told me to wait, he was telling me to hope, and that waiting and hoping go hand in hand. Um, so that's what this verse saying. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I put my hope while we wait for something we hope for it. Um, after a month or so of waiting and hoping, God gave me two other words trusting and resting. Um, the resting was important, that it's not my work to be done, that it was his work, that he promised the trip. So um, for the past several months, I've been waiting, hoping, trusting, and resting, and really leaning into those four words. Well, um, the trip was supposed to be, in, in my timing, was supposed to happen at Christmas. Well, as it was getting closer and closer, I was realizing that that it's probably not happening. And then it, it got so close that it's like, yeah, it's definitely not happening. But all along, I had been praying, um, not my timing, but yours, Lord. I'll let go of the timing of Christmas whenever you want me to go, Lord. And um, as I got closer and I really had to let go, he said, are you just saying it or are you going to? Um, so I did. I let go of the trip happening at Christmas. And then um, right as I was letting go of the trip happening at Christmas, one day I was taking Melody to school and we were kind of talking about the trip not happening. And I said, Melody, what was up? What was up with that waiting, hoping, trusting, resting? What was up with that, you think? Like, I'm asking God, what was up with that? She goes, Mom, no, not what was up with that. What is up with that? We're still going on the trip. It's just not now. Um, so she corrected me and that makes me think of another verse that I want to share with you guys in first Timothy two twelve. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. So Melody was setting an example for me in speech. She was correcting my speech so that I was, um, saying things that are true. Like, um, our trip is still happening. It's not what was up with us, it's what is up with that. Um, so that's all I had to share with you guys today. Um, pretty quick, but that's what God's been um, putting on my heart as um, he's teaching me um, more about waiting, hoping, trusting, and resting in him. Okay, love you all.